on three, two, three. Hi everybody, my name is Gil Pado. I'm here from SCORE. I'm here sitting with Robert Radcliffe. He is the CEO and president of Four Sacred Directions Incorporated in Brevard County, Florida. Uh, today we wanted to share some uh, time with Robert and just ask him a couple of questions that are gonna be pertinent uh, to future uh, individuals that seek the help of SCORE. Uh, Robert, how are you? And can you tell us a little about yourself? Well, thank you, Mr. Padua. I appreciate it. Um, a little bit about myself is I was born and raised in Alaska. I've moved throughout the United States. I never dreamed I would ever settle in Florida, but of all places, this is where I ended up. And it was by miracle that last year, when COVID came in and displaced everybody, it also displaced me. And, but this presented an opportunity by trying to help others on how to market online that I discovered Gilberto Padua and Carlos Cardona, which we formed our company that we have today, Four Sacred Directions. Fantastic. Let me ask you, um, this must have been a vision for you. How did you bring it to a, a, a fruition? Did you do this on your own? Did you seek coaching? Uh, tell me how you put the puzzle together. Well, I actually uh, had an unfortunate incident in the family and that led me to go after uh, trying to tell others about the dangers of mold and about having an environment that was healthy to live in. And the Creator had a lot to do with my pathway, as He always had, and He actually directed me across the pathway of two other individuals that enabled for this company to be formed. But most importantly is a SCORE representative. If it wasn't for a SCORE representative, I wouldn't learn about compliance, about registering, about how to become an 8A company, and go after government contracts. Can you elaborate a little bit more uh, of your journey to become uh, an SBA registered uh, business and what that means? Becoming an SBA registered businesses uh, or a business, it just opens so many doors, uh, gives you so, uh, how do I put this? It gives you the ability of being like a large corporation. I've always been used to doing a side hustle as I was growing up and doing side businesses, side jobs, so forth. But when I wanted to build a large company become, or becoming a partner with SBA opened up all sorts of people I could have access to. Uh, I mean, it just helped me put the company together. Any questions I had, I didn't have to go and pay a lawyer. All I had to do is go to the SBA and say, how can you help me? And they can do the same for you. Okay. Was uh, a coach vital in, in your planning? Yes. Without a coach, I don't think we're, we're, we'd be where we're at. Mm -hmm. how, how did they contribute? Well, one of the most important things is I've been in the medical field a lot of my life. I want to get environmental services. I found partners that can do that. But the most important thing is going after government contracts, I didn't realize everything that was entailed into that. So being exposed to somebody that actually went through the government process and had their own successful business for the last 17 years was able to sit there and look at my company and look at what I was doing and said, this is where you need to be compliant at. This is what the government's gonna be looking for. So you need to be prepared. So without that, I, there's no way I'd be able to do this. I would have failed. Was this something that was costly for you to investigate and get all this information? If I did it on my own, I probably would have gave up. Because <laughs> truthfully, you get on the internet, everybody goes to Google. By going to Google, you're gonna learn things, but you know what, there's more than one avenue and you don't know what to trust. So, but you go to somebody with real knowledge, real time experience, and it takes away all the cost, all the time, and especially all the frustration. Mm. So, and, and as far as this cost, how much? I, I have to pick at that because, you know, a business yeah. owner is always looking, what do I have to put out of pocket so I can start my company or get my journey going mm -hmm. or, or bring my vision to a, uh, to a reality? Hmm. Zippo. No way. Yeah. Uh, pretty much all I had to do is I had a partner that was telling me what we can do with the company. I had to put together a business plan and SBA helped me with that. Once I put together a business plan, we moved forward, we formed the corporation. I mean, there's very minute fees to that. And then having a mentor 
it's like having a fellow CEO on the board that has been doing this for so many years and you're new to the job. He's going, don't worry about it. We're going to help you. We're going to take care. We'll get on the right road. And that didn't cost a thing, which surprised me because I was expecting it to be like a lawyer where you're going to have to pay a fee. You're going to have to pay a retainer. But that's the beautiful part about having a SCORE volunteer in your corner. Gotcha. Gotcha. Mr. Radcliffe, thank you very, very much. Thank you to Four Sacred Directions and much success to you. Thank you very much. I appreciate this time.